There you were, chilling out, young and carefree. Life was good. Until... Jewish and face! Increase! What were you to do? There was no way you could afford the increase in fees and the living costs. Or could you? Firstly, you don't need to pay anything straight away. You'll get a loan for your fees and your living costs, which you don't need to pay back until you're earning over £21,000. So, say you're earning £22,000. Then you will pay back 9% of your income above £21,000. Or, to put it another way, £7.50 a month. About the cost of a small takeaway pizza or a trip to the cinema. If your salary is £25,000, you'll pay £30 a month. About the cost of a mobile phone contract. In fact, under the new loan system, Students are £540 better off every year than students on the previous scheme, with more money in their pocket. Your repayment comes out of your paycheck each month before it even gets to you, just like tax. But we're not going to sugarcoat it for you. Depending on what you earn, you could be paying more money back for longer, perhaps most of your working life. However, after 30 years, your debt will get written off. Most people will never have to pay off the full amount, and the repayment scheme is designed to be affordable. You'll be charged interest on your loan from the moment you take it out. But the amount you pay back each month won't be affected by the interest. You'll only need to pay back 9% of your income over £21,000. Plus, this debt isn't considered in your credit rating which helps when applying for mortgages and credit cards. You can also view it as an investment, as graduates earn on average of £12,000 a year more than non-graduates over their working life, according to the Office for National Statistics 2011. So, can you afford to go to university? Well, that's up to you. Going to university is a big decision. Weigh up the pros and cons and make a choice that is right for you. The task force would like to thank Bournemouth University for the use of their video. The legal stuff. The information in this video is based on the most recent figures published by the government at the time of production. The Independent Task Force on Student Finance Information and Bournemouth University have taken every care to ensure that the information is accurate, but we cannot be held liable for its accuracy. You should take advice based on your own personal circumstances before entering into any financial commitment. Produced September 2011